Let's try again. Okay, here we go. One. Okay, don't do it. Don't get it burning now. No, 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 not a one. Okay. Okay, everybody run. In this video I'm going to show you how to get a sunset shot using a graduated neutral density filter and the reason I'm here at this particular pier near my home is because I shot this particular composition on April the 26th a year ago and now today it's May the 5th so it's like nine days later and I'm hoping that the Sun will have moved enough from my last year's shot so that it's going to set right down the middle of the pier. way too dark. So I'm going to extend the shutter speed on this, move the focus point, I'm going to put the focus point right in the middle, and way too dark. Bump up the ISO to 125. That is something I can work with because the histogram is not actually completely touching the left hand side and I'll be able to recover the darks here. I'm gonna put on the really wide angle lens, the 20 millimeter, and try this again. There we go. So I wanna try something a little different as I wait for the sun to go down. My main shot that I want here is right down the center of this pier with the sun setting dead center, which I hope is gonna happen. While I'm waiting, I want to try another shot and that would be with the railing as the main subject, the main element of the photo. In order to try and nail this shot, the camera has to be practically touching the railing. And I just gave it a try already with my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. And I don't think the 24 is really wide angle enough to pull the shot off effectively. So I put on my prime lens. It's a wide angle, 20 millimeters. And I've got the graduated neutral density filter on. And I'm gonna do this handheld over top of the railing and we'll see how it works out. The number one most frustrating thing for photographers at any kind of a public location is people getting into your shot. Obviously, um, these type of locations are just as much anyone else's as they are the photographers, but it creates the biggest challenge, especially when you're at a really popular place like Mesa Arch or someplace. So, yeah, case in point, big crowd just walking behind Leah as she's filming this. So I'm trying to get this pier here with a minimum number of people on it and as the sun is setting it's like more and more people are getting out on the pier. So it's just one of those things you have to deal with it. You have to suck it up as a photographer and hide the frustration that you really feel inside. In terms of the composition for this one, I have essentially two main choices. The first one is put the railing dead straight right down the middle. Or the second choice is put the railing on the right third and try and work out a cool composition with a leading line that's going to a, a vanishing point in the distance. And that's what I'm going to try right now. I think it's pretty cool. So while I'm waiting for the sun to actually set, I just thought of one other cool composition idea, and that was drop the camera right down to the deck of this pier and see if I can get that grain of the wood. It's a really well-worn wooden pier. I think that uh, the shot that I just caught is gonna look really cool because both of the railings are below the horizon line and it kind of creates that leading line that's disappearing into a vanishing point on the horizon 
totally cool shot. I'm actually really happy and that may be the shot from this photo shoot. So in a break between people walking, I just quickly set up the tripod in the middle of the pier here. It made for a better shot because then I was able to do bracketing and get an HDR photo. And I think it's the HDR photo that's going to look the most impressive because I'm able to properly expose the pier deck and then get a really nice dark sky, combine all three images together. This is going to be the one. Nice histogram, that's going to be good. So I'm going to take these images and throw them into Lightroom and I have a feeling that my number two shot is going to be the one over top of the railing and my number one most favorite will be the one where the camera is really close to the deck of the pier here. I think that's just going to be a cool kind of an X look with disappearing horizon lines. So I'm going to apply presets to these photos and if you want to get some free presets then click the link in the description. I'm giving away five free landscape presets from my collection. And if you want to see how to use presets, then click this link right here and you'll see my other video where I show you how. See you in the next video.